us now. Uh, the market looking pretty good for the start of the week so far, Leanne. James, it certainly is uh, a very solid performance today. I think uh, particularly given the expectation was for a fairly negative day today, given those very negative leads we had coming uh, from overseas markets overnight. Of course, that disappointing data coming out of China and also further man manufacturing data today pointing to that contraction. But it does look like the market has shrugged that off today. We are certainly seeing strength in that energy sector, which is driving the market higher. Uh, we saw West Texas oil up over 8 per cent uh, on Friday and obviously over in the US saw a very solid performance out of those energy stocks. Those materials stocks are also performing strongly. Uh, some of those iron ore players are coming under pressure, but those gold stocks really are continuing to drive the market higher. I also think uh, the expectation of a rate cut tomorrow by the RBA is certainly continuing to be priced into the market, really continuing on from the very solid performance we saw on the market last week. And it does look like today we will close for the ninth consecutive day of gain. So I certainly think a very positive day given the fact that we had those negative leads this morning. Yeah, one stock not cashing in at the moment and really a run of bad news for Kathmandu. Shares now down over 27%. Absolutely, James. This one's really taking a hit today after that profit warning and really following on from that weak trading update that we had back in December, uh, where we obviously saw those shares taking a hit at that time. They were down about 22% as well. So it really has been uh, one bit of bad news to the other. Despite seeing those sales actually higher, we saw their margins lower. And as a result, they are expecting to post a loss uh, for the first half, which is well below the prior period. And actually, they haven't provided their guidance. So again, I think that's fairly disappointing for investors, certainly not providing any certainty in terms of the outlook. So I certainly think that's another reason. Uh, clearly the fallout from their heavy discounting during that winter clearance campaign, I think, in the first quarter is, is having a significant negative ramifications for the second quarter. And I, I think that is expected to continue. They obviously have been taking a hit uh, since the budget and, and a lot of that discretionary trading has been in place. But I think a lot of those macro issues have probably been put to to the side and it's actually some of those internal issues that are having a problem uh, for Kathmandu. So certainly I think the outlook uh, certainly, you know, looks very concerning in our mind and obviously the market believes that uh, seeing that huge share price fall today. And from one end of the spectrum to the other, one of the best performers, Evolution Mining, up over 10%. It is, James. So this is an interesting one. We have actually seen those gold prices overnight up about 2.1%. So seeing Evolution Mining obviously responding to that, it is highly leveraged to those gold prices. So we certainly do see some quite big swings uh, in response, but also continuing its strong performance from its uh, production report, which we did see out recently. We saw record production, record costs, and also record cash generation, so positive cash flows across all of their operations. And I think the outlook for this one actually are looking fairly pleasing in terms of their production, their costs expecting to come in at the lower end of their guidance range as well. So despite being obviously highly leveraged to those gold prices, volatility probably expected in the short term, but I think longer term they are certainly focusing on those costs in, in an attempt to uh, maintain some of those margins and also they have a range of exploration options in place at, at the, uh, five of their mines. So I certainly think the outlook uh, looks fairly positive, uh, certainly seeing that positive performance today obviously in response to that production report and also those gold prices. Good stuff, Leanne. Thank you. Thanks, James.